bam back pow with another video we're going to be talking about dwac and i'm also going to be talking about funware ticker symbol phun because funware is kind of moving sympathy off of dwac even though it doesn't really have any moves i'm going to put them together okay so we're going to go over dbc we're going to go over trump twitter um true social what's going on he's running all that geek stuff so smash the like button subscribe if you are new let's get the video over a hundred likes okay over a hundred likes smash that like button as you guys know there's two videos for this one i got a video on amc and gme and then i got a video on really something the video before this one is the main one you want to watch okay that's on the spy iwm qqq uh news that we got and so forth so two big videos before this one and watch this one smash the like button subscribe dwc let's go to the news now trump elon Musk said on twitter on saturday that he would reinstate former president donald trump's um uh, to the platform as part of a shakeup to of the social media service with mr trump's account quickly showing up again on the site now elon did a poll okay it it wasn't like a big landslide type of beat i think only beat like one or two percent on the upside but it, regardless it beat okay so um donald trump is back on twitter now i don't think this is good for dwac and of course donald trump uh said that he was going to run and so forth Okay, it had over 15 million votes on that poll that Elon Musk did, and Trump won, so now he's reinstated. Now, I would say, oh, okay, there you go. It says about 52 percent, right? So it didn't, it wasn't like a landslide, like it beat like 60 percent or something, but it did beat. So for DWAC, the whole point of DWAC was for when Trump, when he was going to announce that he run, he wasn't on Twitter. So the only way you will see what he says, updates and stuff like that was to go on through social, right? That's why DWAC had that pop. But since Trump is now on Twitter, there's no need to really go to true social unless Trump has like special things he says on one or not the other. He's just going to be on Twitter now with all his followers is going to be like normal. So I feel like DWAC is going to lose pressure. Okay, I feel like it's going to lose pressure, and I feel like this support level down here around $19 is actually going to break to the downside. So what I want to do is I'm going to give you one more support level on the downside at about $18. Because if both of these levels break, DWAC could be done for, and it probably won't go higher, because that was the whole like point of DWAC going up. One, Trump's announcement, and then you guys know that. It was buy the rumor, sell the news. So it was Trump's announcement, and then it was him being on True Social. He's not on Twitter, so you would have to go to True Social, and it was going to get a lot of buzz. Reporters are going to be reporting about it, what he said on True Social. It's going to get a lot of buzz, which is going to do what? Boost up DWAC. But now that he's on Twitter, it probably won't get that type of boost because whatever he says, he'll probably just say it on Twitter. So we have support, 18 and 19. This is the number one key thing you want to be looking at for right now on DWAC is support. Now, I feel like there's still going to be a lot of movement on DWAC. We can check how the volume is. Volume is probably dying down a little bit. I probably, this was the biggest volume, but we want to see if volume's dying down, that means what? People are starting to leave. If volume picks up, then we might start to see some more movements. That means more people are coming into it. So that is just not too good of Trump being on uh, Twitter, but even though I probably knew he was going to get reinstated anyway. So we have our two support levels, 18 and 19, right? We also had a resistance level at about $22 that hit here perfectly, and then it started to come down. The thing is, though, this $22 level is still a resistance level we need to be watching out for. Do not forget, you can use this. Let me write it out. Make sure you guys don't forget to smash the like button also. Do not forget, you can use code 10 to Black Friday. 10 Black Friday, this is your Black Friday discount code. It ends on Friday, so you have about five days. It gives you 10% off your first month or 10% off your first year until Friday. So you only have five more days to do that, okay? You get private live streams, you get all my buys and sells. We are profitable every week. And I also teach you guys how to trade in these markets, okay? So make sure you join the team. There's a first link in that description. Use 10 Black Friday, 10% uh, off your first month or 10% off your first year. And you also get two months free when you pay for the yearly. So DWAC, okay? Now, resistance to support levels. The big thing that I wanna be looking out for, if this resistance level breaks, right? So say where price is now, Say it continues to go higher. That might be a good sign. If it doesn't want to start trending down, we might start to see the next up run to it. Okay, we could probably even break to highs of 30 or something. Because what if Trump comes out and be like, he doesn't want to be on Twitter anymore because he got his own. So he's going to do everything on True Social. Then it will actually boost up True Social and boost up DWAC. So we need to see what Trump says. If he's actually going to use Twitter, maybe he's like, I don't want to come back to Twitter. I got my own thing. 
we'll see, right? So it's kind of, we got to see it, take it day by day, see what Trump says and so forth. But if we get some breakage above that $22 level, that'll be good for resistance. But if we start breaking these support levels, DWC might be done for. And it's probably going to go back down to where it kind of stalled out to around that $16, $17 range. Okay. So kind of watch out for that. Let's go over Funware real quick because it is like a sympathy mover. Funware broke all support levels. Okay. It's actually moving more harder to the downside than DWAC is, which makes sense because there no, there's no news off Funware, right? It's just moving off of sympathy. And then let's put the resistance down. I'm going to put resistance down here around 125. So 110 support, 125 as a resistance. Main things, watching out for this one. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. Just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I will catch you guys in that next one. Bye.